The Romanov family had ruled Russia for 300 years. In 1917, Nicholas II was the emperor and czar of all the Russias, the absolute ruler over more than 180 million people. He was also one of the richest men in the world, with an estimated fortune of over $45 billion. But by 1918, Russia was torn apart by a revolution, and the Bolsheviks took control of the country. Tsar Nicholas, his wife Alexandra, his daughters Olga, 22, Tatyana, 21, Marie, 19, Anastasia, 17, and his only son, 13-year-old Alexei, were arrested under direct orders by Lenin and held captive by the Bolsheviks in a city in Siberia. On July 17, 1918, the military commissar for the area read out a public statement in a local theater that the Tsar had been executed, but the rest of the family had been evacuated. The people did not believe the Tsar was dead. Years went by, and romantic myths about what happened to the missing Romanovs became one of the world's most fascinating mysteries. Anastasia, in particular, caught the public's fancy. A woman named Anna Anderson claimed for 60 years that she had escaped the Bolsheviks' firing squad and was really the lost Anastasia. Books were written about her. Even a movie of her life was made. Some of the Romanov family even welcomed Anna as one of their own. In 1991, several skeletons were found in a grave in Siberia. The Russians thought these remains might be the missing Romanovs. Proving it began the unraveling of what was called the crime of the century. In 1992, I was asked by forensic anthropologist Bill Maples to be part of a team uh, to go to Russia to examine remains that might have been those of Tsar Nicholas, Alexandra, and the Romanov family. When the team arrived in Siberia, they were shown into the room that held the skeletal remains of nine unidentified bodies. I could determine as a pathologist that they'd all been shot uh, together, there were bullet holes in the skeletal remains. The, uh, there was one skeleton, all the bodies were skeletonized except one uh, that had uh, hydrogenated fat, that's called adipocere, when the fat uh, turns into uh, wax-like uh, material uh, due to chemical reactions after death. And in that adipocere were two bullets, which were old vintage World War I bullets consistent with they're being shot in 1918, as opposed to bullets that came later under Stalin's regime. Using anthropological measurements, height, weight, age, sex, race, and dental examination, we were able to determine that these bodies were those of the missing Romanov family. Remember, these uh, skeletal remains had been in the ground for 75 years. 10 months out of the year in the Ural Mountains, Siberia, uh, the ground is frozen and for two months, water is present. And this is not good for DNA. Despite the difficulties, DNA was extracted and matched to other members of the Romanov family. Scientists were ultimately able to identify the remains of the Tsar, his wife Alexandra, and three of their daughters, as well as three servants and the family doctor. Still missing were the bodies of Anastasia and Alexei. 
Was it possible that the mysterious Anna Anderson was really the long-lost Anastasia? DNA could prove that claim, but Anna had died in 1984 and had been cremated. An enterprising German journalist was able to go back to a hospital in Germany where Anna Anderson had had her appendix taken out. And by getting a slide, a microscopic slide that we put under a microscope and look at the uh, tissue, one can do DNA testing on that slide. And when they did the DNA testing on, on the tissue on that slide, it turned out not to be uh, a Romanoff. For 60 years, Anna had convinced the world that she had escaped the brutal execution of the Romanovs and was the real Duchess Anastasia. But her DNA told a different story. Anna, who claimed to be the rightful heir to Anastasia's $85 million dowry, was really Franziska Szentkowska, a Polish factory worker. On July 17, 1998, the last Tsar of Russia, Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, and three of their children were buried in St. Petersburg's St. Peter and Paul Cathedral, exactly 80 years after their execution by Bolshevik revolutionaries. They lie in the resting place of all the Russian emperors since the reign of Peter the Great. But two crypts are still empty and will remain so while the search continues for the bodies of the two missing Romanov children. There are those who still believe that Anastasia was rescued and taken out of Russia where she disappeared, until her body and the body of her brother Alexei are found and identified, their fate will remain one of the great romantic mysteries of the 20th century.